Hello folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about a number of the additional gameplay toggles that have been included in Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. So for those of you that have played the original game, you may be familiar already with Turbo Mode and Half Speed Mode. These were actually available to players who completed the game once and started to play again using a new game plus file. Well, now they are included by default. Here on the PS4, you simply tap the R2 and L2 controls. And this does of course work on all of the systems as well. So R2 for turbo mode, which by the way, these modes work in every area of the game apart from the pre-rendered cinematic cutscenes. But here on the world map, on field screens, even in battles, you are good to go with this stuff. And then here is the half speed mode, which is a pretty cool feature, it's gotta be said. Next up, we're going to have the Battle Boosts, as Square are calling them. So let's head into an area here that has enemies. Cape Howl will suffice. And let's go through these. So, by tapping in the left analog stick, we get this interesting icon, which effectively enables the No Battles mode. So as we approach enemies, as you can see, we are perfectly safe. I'm not sure if enemies will still chase us or not, but these don't seem to do that anyway. But in either case, we're not going to enter any battles if they catch up. So if you just want to move through various areas without being interrupted, this is the feature for you. And we're going to need to turn that off now in order to explain the next features. So let's go ahead and engage in battle. Now, that little icon you just saw, which I'm going to bring up again, is by tapping the right analog stick in. And that is... I believe it increases our evasion rates. I've done a little bit of testing with it. And if I just go ahead and defend here with our party, you'll notice that all attacks seem to miss. This applies to both physical attacks and magical attacks. So it effectively makes the party invulnerable, at least to all the damage that I've been able to test it with. Now, it doesn't seem to boost our damaging abilities. So it only seems to affect evasion. But if you are struggling with various bosses and just want to see the fights through, then this is going to be a great addition to enable you to do that. Okay, next up, if we tap both the analog sticks in, we get the auto battle mode. And here the game will select, from what I understand, the best physical abilities in terms of, you know, one, two or three attacks to get the most damage out there based on your current hit rates. So if you enable both of these options, you will not only take no damage, but you won't have to push any buttons either. The game will take over it for you. And you can also, of course, enable turbo speed to really whiz through battles. So with all those three options enabled, you're not going to have any trouble whatsoever. And to finish with some preemptive answers to some questions that you may have, all of these battle boosts are temporary, so you can turn them on and off at a whim. Nothing is permanent, not like some of the Final Fantasy boosts that give you all magics and stuff that you are then stuck with on that save file. Also, achievements and trophies are not disabled, so you are welcome to use these as much as you want without being penalised. But I hope this little video has helped you. If it has, please do drop a like and subscribe for future Chrono Cross content. Let me know your thoughts on the battle boosts and gameplay enhancements down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.